Gonna bite them any information. I don't know. All right, this is our show. day four of Dodger Media Week. We give you wrestling. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Martin Bria. Uh, what are your thoughts going into uh, this year? So I think that together, like, we have a ton of new underclassmen coming in, and everyone's pretty solid. Like, we have been doing a lot of conditioning, a lot of practicing. So I think that we're a strong team coming in this year. All right, I'm Justin Morales. There are five senior starters who graduated last year. How are you, how are you guys going to fill those absences? So once again, we have a lot of new incoming freshmen, sophomore, and then also a couple new juniors. So they're going to be able to fill in the absences. We've been drilling hard, so even the new guys have a very good knowledge on wrestling and just like the sport in general. Uh, what was your uh, toughest match uh, from last year, and what did you learn from it? Um, so as a team, I'd say HP, just because like it was that it's a very solid team. Individually, I learn I learn from every match. Like I don't every match I take, I take like knowledge from it. So. So this question's for you, Tommy. With the back injury that you acquired last season against Hanover Park, how are you feeling now? Um, the back injury was not against Hanover Park, but I'm feeling stronger than ever. Uh, coming back stronger than it was last year, and I just feel like an altogether more solid wrestler. Uh, Carlos, this question is for you. Um, your growth throughout the last three seasons has been amazing. What aspects of the of your games are you working on this year? Uh, I'm working on my speed. I'm trying to cut a lot of weight. Try to make 132. It's gonna be really hard because like I'm like 140 right now. But once I make it, I'm gonna be ready. All right. Uh, this question's for Jason. With tearing your ACL last season and missing your junior year of wrestling, what goals do you have yours for yourself as you're going into your senior year? Um, it's just work on my overall wrestling. Um, there's a lot of mental aspects of my game that I was missing, and I'm just looking to improve overall mentally and physically and come back stronger this year because obviously I fell short of the main goal, Atlantic City, uh, for two years. and. Senior year last year, I'm hoping to cap it off and hopefully place in states. Uh, some may say wrestling in Madison isn't as popular to neighboring towns like Hanover Park. In your opinion, um, in your opinion, what things need to happen in order for Ma for Madison wrestling to uh, improve or grow? Uh, bigger audience, more student section. We need. Uh, more support from our fellow students and I think then it will you know become a lot more popular because at the Hanover Park match there was I don't know, like what like 100 200. yeah more than 200 kids in the student section I think we need that uh, pride here also um, just to build on that like I think youth is also a huge part of that if we build up the youth program we're gonna be sending more kids uh, to the high school program and we have more kids wrestling in youth, they'll have more knowledge on wrestling, more technique, and they'll have more committed wrestlers in the high school level. All right, so there's a massive contrast between the number of kids from this year and last year. How does the number of kids on the team roster affect the season? I think that, I mean, there's not as many kids, but there's it's more diverse, there's a lot more weight classes, so we'll be able to fill like all the weight classes, and I think that it's actually, there'll be less of a power struggle between the weight classes, I think, yeah. yeah. All right, that's all from us. All right. Do we have any other questions? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite part of practice? Um, I'd say drilling, just because I like learning new moves, and you know, just like improving on my skills. Um, probably the live portion because um, obviously it's like more fun to just go out there and wrestle your friends live and like 
go out there, experiment, new moves. And uh, when I wrestled Tommy a few times, like we have scrambles. We're like always in a different position. We're always learning and we're building a better foundation for each other. So my favorite like thing in practice is like when we have a water break because like I'm not allowed to drink water like because I'm always cutting weight and stuff so like when we have that water break it's like the best. All right, so yeah, um, I have one more too. Um, so like your coaching staff with Mr. Coach Goodwin and um, Coach Carroll, have they like changed your guys' like wrestling opinions and like mentally like how have how have they like helped you like mature and stuff? Um. So they've been very supportive of our goals, and yeah, they've they've been very good coaches for the past four years or three years. Personally, um, I've really built a strong relationship with uh, Coach Goodwin over my four years, and he's really he's really been supportive since day one, and he's pretty much always been in my corner and always help point out the things that I need to do better and just kind of brought me in with a lot of hostility. Um, I'm Jenna and what do you do in order to cut back on your weight to get into the other class? Uh, just portion control, exercising, good conditioning, just you know, controlling what you eat. And, and a lot of water and just like being healthy and you'll naturally lose that weight.